I am Dr. Arturo Chayet from the Codet Vision Institute. Together with my co-investigators, we have published the findings of an open-level single-arm pilot study of the efficacy and safety of nasal electrical stimulation in dry eye disease. Neurostimulation is a well-established strategy for directly activating nerve pathways to manage disease. This represents a potentially promising option for the treatment of dry eye. The feasibility of using neurostimulation is based on the body's natural tear system, which can be upregulated by the activation of nasolacrimal reflex. This neural pathway promotes secretion of tear film through nasal stimuli. The simple act of breathing can activate this pathway and is responsible for 35% of normal resting tear production. To date, this pathway had never been evaluated for helping dry eye patients. The intranasal stimulation device was designed to activate natural tear production mechanisms by gentle electrical currents. In the study, we measured the ability of the device to increase tear production and improve signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. As a cornea and external disease specialist for 30 years, I have cared for many individuals with dry eye disease. Their management has been challenging as they routinely use multiple topical prescription and over-the-counter medications with somewhat disappointing results. This device, which increased the quantity and quality of tears, immediately attracted me and prompted me to be involved with the study. The Oculive device provides a low current through intranasal tips. The tips are inserted into both nostrils and contact the anterior septum. The patients select the level of stimulation. During the study, patients use the device four times daily or more if needed. The most important findings in this study were the significantly higher Schirmer scores in each eye during stimulation compared to the unstimulated scores. We pulled patients into two groups based on dry eye workshop severity levels and found that these scores were higher in both the mild-moderate group and the severe group. The corneal and conjunctival staining and symptom scores were significantly reduced from baseline to day 180, the final visit. Three non-serious and no serious device-related adverse events were reported. 83% of patients say that they will recommend the device to others. The study findings suggest that the device is effective for inducing near-immediate tearing. The positive results of this study indicate that this approach to stimulating tear production may offer a new treatment option. Because the increase in tearing was shown across all dry eye workshop severity levels, combining it with other agents could lead to even better outcomes.